Hey up. Well, how do? Oh, morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever the fluff you are. Normally when you see these walls, I'm normally on my way into a rugby match, or probably some point in the future, a football match. But I just thought, I just while I'm already out here, um, having a little walk, just thought I would have a walk around the outer perimeter of the DW, or depending on whatever the name might be, if Latics owners do change the branding on here, because it is mostly uh, their home too, as well as uh, Wigan Warriors, it is Wigan Athletic. There is where Warriors training base is, right next to the stadium, right here. Their shop is right there. Latics' shop is just in the main stand right behind me. Not this one, but that one. Just thought I'll just have a walk around and uh, address a few little things. I know I've been vocal on other people's videos and um, on my own about what's going on with Latics. Personally with... Um, this bit isn't going to be PC, but how piss poor some people perceive the um, outward exchange to be. But I can't say that it has been bad. It has, the results haven't been brilliant. Yeah, right, we've now just lost four on the bounce. But I'm not gonna, let me jump on their back and murder them for it. We've got injuries, we've got a lot of injuries. We've got players suspended. We're putting kids in, we've got players out of position. So it's not exactly all that, you know. Got the, the lads are doing brilliantly, they are doing what they possibly can, it's just the fact the results aren't coming. Some people out there aren't happy about that, but there's nothing us as fans can do about it besides get behind them. Just get behind them, support them, come what may. And when, what, 16, 17 days away, when the full restrictions should be unlocked, Anyway, here's the Boston stand. The stand where I'm normally in. I just thought I'll just have a walk around the perimeter while I can. Since it's a, quite a bright sunny day. And um, after the game the other day as well, I was going to come down here, but you know. I know there might be some of you out there saying, why aren't you here? But um, I do have my own medical problems. My left ear has decided that it wants to go screw job on me. It's got all Montreal on me and it's um, kept up so I can't exactly do a lot with that so under doctor's orders because the sporting arena is uncontrolled noise I do have to be careful yes you do see these things around my neck I am listening to music but it is balanced more aiming towards the right than on the left because I do have the uh, sound balancer to do but hey as with Latix Things are looking up. They've got a new owner, which uh, I believe is a Bahraini guy. So Latics have a new owner. They've been making some cracking signings. Got uh, Max Power back. And people are suspecting that um, a certain, um, let's say, Will Griggs on fire might be coming back. I ain't jumping in the suspect with that. I don't know. To be honest, whatever signings come along is whatever signings come along. But I am going to have to say this, back of this stand definitely needs a wash. So like you can see it's getting a wee bit grub, but with trees right here, and this being the back, and this is effectively, you know, this is the biggest stand in the arena. Well, this is where I normally, you know, this is where I would normally be sitting. It's up there, <laughs> up there at rafters. Hopefully not facing that way, because I don't really want to go towards the away end. But you know, I do come in here every now and then for football as well. Which I hopefully will be starting to do once I get a little bit more medical clearance. And I know what I can and can't do. Also as well, badges on. The badges as well. Like, you know, football crest needs to be done. Rugby crest needs to be replaced. Give this a good wash down here. Give it a good clean up, make it look a bit nice. You know. Sort out some of these ruddy potholes and all. Because this is looking a little bit scraffed down here. You know, it's getting a bit scratter down here. But this is just a cover over of everything. 
for those who are wondering where I was, because I know some of you out there that have watched Bleeding Cherry and White been wondering where it is. Bleeding Cherry and White will be coming back, I hope it will be coming back anyway, in the 2022 Rugby League season. Come what may, it's coming back. Problem for me is, do I get any for football at the start of next season? Do I get medical clearance for that? Do I or do I not? Who knows? That is, I'm going to use a ratchet and clank bit here. One of nature's mysteries. Whatever happens in here, hey, it'll be fun. I know, I know, I know. There's the scoreboard that sometimes I have pointed you guys towards once or twice. And there's the away end. Or as some people would uh, call it, the shit old. But Boston stand, still there on the east. North stand for the away fans. Now, I can't find any of the old footage when I came here to watch Warriors against Sydney Roosters. I know at some point in the past I did say I would try to put it out because I knew where it was. I actually don't know where it is. I think the hard drive that I put it on went kaput. Or either that or it got swapped out in an old laptop that I now no longer have. I don't have that now, but you know, one day I will be back. Things will be improving, football wise and rugby wise. Keep the faith, keep holding on and keep strong. And don't give anyone any shit. Okay. This is normally where I, I see the away fans heading in, so I will always call this the away side. Which as far as I know it still officially is. But yeah. Whatever signings football wise happens, next season is going to be interesting, especially with um, whatever's going on, because there's been a lot of speculation that as soon as the season tickets for the Latics come out, a lot of people are going to be jumping on board and it might be quite a high, high crowd, which to be honest would be a positive after the past well, 12 months, after they went into administration, got screwed over by their old owners. All the stagnation that happened prior to that, you know, some of the broken promises, some of the things that just didn't quite happen. There was a lot going on. I'm not going to get into the politics of it because that ain't my game. Politics, to me, is just a load of, of rah, rah, blah, blah, blah. I don't give a damn about politics. People can be politicking all day. I'd rather get on and watch some sport in action and have some fun. But... You know, yeah, I know. Some of you who have been watching my channel for a while do know I didn't live here prior. I moved here in what well, late 2018, but I've always had a connection to Wigan. I've always been, a, you know, not a Latics fan. You know, I grew up with my dad being a, a Man United fan. So one day there might be a vlog of me going to Old Trafford watching football there. I don't want to pay the superstar money. I really don't. Because I don't appreciate 45 quid for a standard bogging ticket. I'd rather come here and, you know, and watch a game for 25. But one day I'll probably go to Old Trafford. Whether it's for rugby or not, I'm definitely, I definitely want to go for final. Uh, Traff. Death. Death, I want to go there for final. And one day, one year, some point in the future, I'll go at Wembo. I'll go at Wembley, watch the final there. I know there are a few people on my friends list who are wondering, especially with England, and I'm going to mention it since about England, after knocking Germany off, that was spectacular. But tomorrow night, aka Saturday night, that is going to be another kettle of fish. Because Ukraine aren't exactly going to be all that easy to knock off either, because Shevchenko set them up. Nice and nice and solid. But well, England lads, they do seem to be growing into their position. And I know you might ask me, do I know what's going on with the Rugby World Cup? Do I act like? Do I act? I don't know what's going on for the Rugby World Cup neither. I ain't got a clue what's going on with that. I know some of you are going to say, yes, it's a travesty that it's not here for a World Cup game. We have it in Lee, 
and it is in Bolton which anyone that knows anything about Bolton the stadium is actually one mile closer to Wigan than it actually is Bolton one mile so technically you could actually call them Wigan second team <laughs> for the you know for the football ways but hey whatever again that's just another slide joke that some people would throw in there but I don't want to get stuck into all of that but you know this season for Warriors isn't exactly all that brilliant yeah they absolutely smashed it for the first few games there was a few little things that went on that were covering over um, you know like papering over the cracks as it were but now that we've got a couple of major players out Bevan French is out he's out for the rest of the season but he has signed on for the option to take on for an extra year so at least you know as some people would say Big Bev is coming back so yeah that's a positive Adeka his suspension and injury should be over soon so we'll get that back Jay Fields he's back in training don't rush back lad don't rush back don't rush it take your time take your time you'll come back and you'll be stronger than you were before so you'll be fine don't worry about that anyone else that's wondering about any of the other players they're all doing what they can I ain't going to get dragged into any of the fury of whether I want Lama in or out. I ain't saying that on here, and I'm not going to say that publicly. All I'm going to say is there's been some decisions, somewhere down the line, that's been lacking. And now, it was showing. Getting pumped by 40 points. Getting pumped by 40 points. Stings. That really stings. Getting pumped by 40 points stings. But there's nothing what us on the outside can do about it but support them. Don't get on the back, get behind them. Shout them in. Shout them on. Don't boo them at half time. You can give them a thumb up, give them some encouragement. Booing them is just going to not work for it. It isn't the greatest idea booing. So keep a lid on it. Keep behind them and keep on grinding. Because we'll get there in the end. The same for football. If it turns out that they don't exactly win a few games in the first couple, don't jump on their backs, get behind them. Cheer them on. We've had 18, 19 ruddy months without any buggering. I think seeing this place filled to rafters, whether it's for football or rugby, will be better than just seeing it flat on TV. I ain't going to say anything about Sky because I don't give a damn about that because I don't pay Sky. I've never watched it. I don't like it. I never have. But to some, that's killed it. Or at least it's helping because you can view it. But for me, I'd rather have my seat in there with a pint and a pie. I would rather be sat in there watching it. But at the moment, it's due to medical. I can't. I'll come back when I can. And I know there's going to be some people saying, yeah, you can see the old badge there, not the new one. I ain't getting stuck in with that badge, neither. I ain't going to get messed in that. But I'm just going to end it with the one man that brought one of the loudest moments in my old home. Lifting that. So from me, and from Davy Dub, it's out.